Hey folks, uh, this is an interesting video because I don't know um, a way to approach this that makes people look a little not scummy. Uh, for those who don't know, at least in the United States, this isn't legal in every country, but in the United States, it is legal to buy a product and resell a product. So as an example, I could buy this Our Family Sparkling Mixed Berry Water and assuming it was sealed or whatever, I could resell it. In fact, it being in the state it is now, I technically could resell it if someone was willing to buy it. Uh, and that's the case with technology. I could I could buy this phone, resell it, even if after it's used, all that jazz. It's perfectly legal in the United States. And what happens in a time like we are facing today, where there's a, a worldwide pandemic and there's shortages on a lot of things, uh, is that people take advantage of uh, the situation to buy out the already limited available stock of things to resell them for a higher value. And this is happening with the Nintendo Switch in particular. It's not as prevalent with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One because there seems to be more stock of that because I guess most people that want one usually have one at this point, whereas there is still high demand for Switch, uh, especially in wake of Animal Crossing coming out. So we're sitting here uh, wondering what is exactly happening now. There was a man uh, a while ago, I don't know how many people saw this story, there was a guy who bought up all the hand sanitizer uh, in a given area and then tried to resell it and then was shut down because, well, I mean, that's just a really scummy thing to do. And hand sanitizer is obviously considered a much bigger essential than, say, the Switch. Uh, but what's happening is there's a free app or a free uh, program you can download on your computer that when you run it it'll just check the internet for available switches at various retailers and buy it uh assuming that you have you know credit card information or whatever entered in and then uh yeah there you go you have a switch uh this sounds like a great tool for those of us that want to get a legit switch but it actually was created as kind of a byproduct of this group of friends that wanted to uh make it easier to buy and resell switches and now that the app is freely available basically scalpers are using it like crazy to buy up all the available stock of switch and resell it and the sad thing is it's working so here's the original story uh as i have seen it on nintendo life so uh it says you know there's a new open source tool in the market uh this is partly responsible for the current nintendo switch shortages uh when you get down to it um this person uh said i decided to make it as a joke but i quickly realized just how powerful it could be me and my friends were talking about reselling nintendo switches and at one point my friend named nicknamed bird told me i should make a bot and here we are today uh and so it's at least partially responsible and making it much easier to scalp but the crazy thing is that people are buying these scalp switches and buying them at insane markups so let's just take a look at what's actually selling on ebay not just what things are listed for what they're selling at uh because this is insane and it's easy to track on ebay because it does tell you how many of this item have sold uh if a person's selling more than one all right so as you can see here uh this this particular user is selling the nintendo switch light gray yellow turquoise etc uh and they're selling it at about an 80 to 90 dollar markup depending on the color and he sold 78 of them at that price uh, the Switch Lite actually has the smallest markup because the demand for the Switch Lite in the United States is not as strong as it is for the normal Switch. Uh, but still, that is a markup. Uh, for uh, At least it's a brand new unit. You'll see later the used units are selling for insane prices. Um, here is a new, this is supposedly based on the picture, the original uh you know joy con gray gamestop certified so this is essentially refurbished switches that, that people are buying from gamestop like literally buying from gamestop and selling at 429 dollars plus 14 dollars and 40 cents in shipping uh they've sold 16 of those so far at that price that is insane uh moving on down you're seeing a completely used switch here selling at 415 21 people watching it no one's actually bought it yet um, here you see uh, the Nintendo Switch Lite again uh, with the various colors selling at $284.99 with 460 plus of them sold. Uh, that's a lot. Um, you're seeing a Switch Lite that has a bid right now that's basically already up to what retail pricing is. So the bid's probably going to be going higher than that. It just started. It still has six days uh, left. So uh, yeah, that's going to sell for much more than $200. Um, you are seeing here a bundle which might be worth 700 I don't know, probably not. 
uh, probably a used switch that someone's trying to resell for, for quite a chunk of money. Um, here's another one, you know, a 400 that's a used switch. It comes with Odyssey at least, but uh, people are trying to get that at a much higher rating. Um, 265 on this switch light or best offer. So uh, it's, it's out of the box. Usually if a product's out of the box, it's considered used. That lowers the value a little bit, but still selling it higher than retail value. Um, you know, 380, this is maybe one of the better things I've seen. However, um, you know, again, it's used, so it is what it is. Uh, you have seven people watching this $480 one. This is the new model uh, with the better battery life. Um, 425 down here, 459 with 26 of them sold and almost gone. So he probably only has a couple left in the stock at that price, which is just insane to me. Um, you know, this one's still getting bids. It has eight bids and it's up to 340 bucks already on the bids. Um, so again, $40 ahead of retail value. Uh, this one's, you know, $70 ahead of retail value. You have, you know, more switch lights, eight sold. Um, it just goes on and on and on like this. Most of the switches selling, uh, the, the uh, normal switches selling, you know, between $400 and $500. Switch lights is selling between $250 and uh, $300. Um, you'll see some that, that are that are quite a bit higher. Uh, I believe if the Animal Crossing bundle uh, pops up here, I think that's going for like $700. I don't know how many are actually selling at that price, uh, but obviously that's an even harder, uh, unique system to get. In fact, let's just actually look up the Animal Crossing switch here and just, just take a glance if any have actually sold at that price. Um, and you know, which would require a seller having more than one. Uh, I mean, seven hundred and sixty dollars. Seven seventy-six of them sold. This is the last one he has. He has sold seventy-six of these Animal Crossing bundles, which were three hundred dollars, by the way. They don't even come with the game. It was three hundred dollars. Seventy-six of them, and he sold them at seven hundred and fifty-nine dollars. That is what, what like in that's more than double. Uh, what do you pay? That's an insane profit margin. And people are buying it. People are, are spending this kind of money on this. And it's a sweet system. And it might never come back in stock again. And that's it's insane to me. Like, here's one that's at least, well, it's on a bidding system, though. So it's at 520 right now. But, you know, who knows where it's going to end up at. Uh, this one's, you know, at 650 uh, last one he has, you know, I guess that's a little bit cheaper. But not, not much. Uh, 700 you know, 17 bids on this one for 540. Uh, you kind of you kind of get the point. It's going for an insane amount of money. I mean, 29 of this one sold. This one's a little bit cheaper. 29 of this one sold at 620. Um, just insane. What what is happening uh, with the Nintendo Switch in the current marketplace? And I point all this out because I don't know. Uh, what we as consumers are really going to be able to do about it right now when Nintendo's not able to make enough switches uh, to satisfy demand, this is going to open up things to the scalping market. And it's just an unfortunate reality of being in kind of a capitalist country and a capitalist society in general for a large part of the world is uh, that people are going to take advantage of the, these pandemics and People are going to be willing to spend the money. They're getting their stimulus checks here in the U.S. They might be like, oh, whatever. This is free money. I might as well just go buy uh, one of these Switches off of eBay because I really want one. I really want to start playing Switch games. Um, and then I know there's some people out there that also have the opposing attitude that if you wanted the Switch, you should have got one, you know, a year ago or two years ago. And I... I, I think that's a, a an invalid argument because you don't know people's financial situations. You don't know their personal desires. Maybe there weren't games out they wanted to play, but now there are games they want to play. Uh, and obviously, we're dealing with a situation where people didn't have time necessarily to game that they do now. Um, with so many people out of work, I think unemployment rates are over 11 million people in the U.S. now. Maybe it's up to 15. I'm not sure. It seems to be rising every single day. And even the people that are working, a lot of them are working from home, only able to work part time. They can't do their full job. So they have even more time to waste. Uh, and, and, you know, with the lockdown and everything, people have time to game now that they normally wouldn't and so it would make sense that right now they're kind of looking at hey what are our gaming options and what's the hot system the hot system is switch you know why pick up a playstation 4 and an xbox one right now when you know playstation 5 and the xbox series x are coming like why not just wait on that and instead buy a current system that's still getting new games just had a hot release um i'd argue another big you know free to play release coming out ninjala is coming as well and uh, consumers are just kind of left sitting there. What are we going to do? Um, my, I know my local stores are sold out. My local GameStop, uh, all three local Walmarts, 
Um, let me see here. I'm trying to think of all the uh, Best Buys, uh, Target, and uh, we don't have a shop going anymore. It closed. So um, all of those local retailers are sold out. Uh, even refurbished units sold out. Um, you might get lucky at a pawn shop, but almost all the pawn shops have been shut down because they're not essential retail. So um, you're at this point now where uh, the only viable option for a lot of us is to either travel store to store to store to store at a time when we're not supposed to be traveling, not supposed to be doing that, and maybe getting lucky a few counties over in the middle of nowhere and finding one unit available, or you just go online, don't leave your home, and order off eBay, off Amazon, etc., and just pay the premium that scalpers are putting on it right now, knowing that it's a hot commodity. Um, and that's just an unfortunate reality of the world we're in right now. And uh, you know, if you're a prospective, you know, switch buyer who, who's trying to, or, or would like a switch, but you don't want to pay these prices, obviously wait. You know, if you wait like a month, two months, I'm sure things will settle down. Manufacturing will be ramped back up and they'll be able to meet supply and demand. Right now they're failing to even meet it in Japan, the home country. So, um, you know, it, it's something that maybe can be dealt with by Nintendo. Uh, but it's going to be, you know, two, three months before we finally have regular stock of the system. And are you willing to wait? Is the $250, $400 you could save uh, by waiting uh, worth it to you? You know, or would you rather have it now while the quarantine is going on? Because in two, three months, it's possible we may all be able to go back to our regular lives and maybe we don't have as much time to game. So you want it now. And I get that people want it now. Uh, and I don't really have an easy answer for you beyond paying scalpers, which kind of rewards them, again, for taking advantage of the supply and demand market and using these applications. Now, obviously, uh, one thing I will say is that, you know, maybe you guys should go check out the app. I'll put a link to uh, Nintendo Life's article down in the description if you're a prospective Switch buyer. It could work for you, too. It could work for someone who legitimately wants to get a Switch at retail pricing. Uh, but good luck because a ton of scalpers are using the app as well might swoop in and, and purchase all the products before you got to remember scalpers are very keen on the market when you're seeing you know systems going for for 460 dollars you know to over a 200 dollars markup and uh you know they're selling you know dozens of them uh it's to a point where these are these scalpers are making a lot of money doing this and so there's no reason for them to stop and they are they have people going you know sometimes 24 hours a day running these kind of applications to really snatch up all of the stock you know they'll rotate family members in the house uh keeping things running uh or, or whatever and i know this because i've seen uh some people in real life who 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 basically make a living off buying things and selling them at a premium uh, by looking at the market and what's what's in short demand. And right now with the pandemic, there's a lot of things in high demand uh, that are undersupplied. Um, in fact, it's actually kind of weird. My local Walmart, there's like hardly any vacuum cleaners left. <laughs> Um, we, we happen to get a really nice one because we needed a new one. Uh, it's one thing we use our stimulus check for, but it, it's, it's one of those situations where they're sold out. And when we talk to them, there's no stock coming because they're not being made right now, um, by a lot of companies because they're not essential. So, um, it, it it's just, it's crazy. I don't know, uh, what's happening out in the world beyond my own little bubble and, and Chippewa Falls and Eau Claire, Wisconsin, which we're already kind of in the middle of nowhere and we're struggling. So I can't imagine what people that live in more high populated areas are going through. Uh, but good luck on buying a switch. Uh, I feel, I feel for you. I really do. Um, hopefully, uh, if you're someone who's trying to get a hold of a Switch and you've been watching this and you see some Switch gameplay of stuff, it's not making you too jealous <laughs> because um, times are hard right now and I feel it. I feel you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate to be in the position I am. I got multiple Switches. Um, you know, there's one in the background, but like directly behind me, you can't even see. I got one upstairs. Um, there's one actually right here that's uh, my daughter's Switch uh, that doesn't have Joy-Cons right now. But uh, that's here. That's working. Um, so, like, multiple Switches in my house. I got all the Switch games, you know, back over here. Uh, PlayStation 3 up there. Had an Xbox One, etc. I'm a fortunate person in life when it comes to gaming. Um, and I feel for you people that right now really need the distraction. And maybe Netflix isn't enough for you or you're bored and you want to do something more interactive. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Tanner Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our Trials of Mana giveaway uh, you know, by commenting down below. Uh, 
liking the video, subscribing, hitting that bell icon. I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video today because it kind of slipped my mind. Because um, this is a weekend video and I haven't been making a lot of these. Uh, but stay tuned. Um, I have another video in the works for tomorrow. Uh, that video is going to be all about Ninjala. Uh, I am pretty excited for Ninjala. Uh, a free-to-play game coming to Switch next month. I'm going to tell you all about my hands-on experience with the game. I'm going to tell you why you should be excited yourself. Maybe some of the new features that I didn't get to try out that we now know are happening. About a special event happening for Ninjala on the 28th. Also, there's a prologue video out there. We're going to kind of go through all the Ninjala goodness uh, tomorrow. But uh, for today, I just wanted to talk about um, scalpers and what's happening, why it's happening, and how we're kind of powerless to stop it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.